going on everybody? I just wanted to do this uh, quick video just so you can see how my son's aquarium is coming along um, since I rescaped it. I am now very pleased with how it looks. Um, you know, when it comes to aquascaping, uh, my thought is that not every design is going to appeal to everyone. Um, you know, when you go like the professionals and all that stuff, they use the rule of threes and all that type stuff. You know, when you're laying out an aquascape or doing a planted tank, just set it up how you like it. I mean, do what's pleasing to you. It, it doesn't have to look perfect to everybody else. But anyway, I'm really pleased with how this tank looks now and how it's coming along. Uh, I think it's only going to start looking better as it fills in. Let me get you a different view here. So you can kind of see what we got going on. The only thing I'm still not sure about is uh, I did plant some of that Monte Carlo over there on the right corner. And uh, I just, I'm really still unsure about that. Uh, it's the only thing, I, I don't think I'm gonna like it. And I'll tell you why. I. I planted a little section of that in the 75 gallon tank as well. And I'm kind of just experimenting with it and trying it out for the first time. Um, like I stated in my other videos, what I don't like about it is it is a carpeting. It grows very thick together and it has the ability to grow over things. So it can grow over rocks and things. I don't like that about it. Um, the other thing that I found out in the 75 gallon is if you get any little pieces of it that break off and float into something else, it can attach itself there and start growing there as well. So where I set up my Christmas moss, I had some kind of just floating around that stuck to it, and then it started rooting itself into the Christmas moss. So I'm not really a fan of it so far. I mean, it's super popular in all these videos I see, but I, I'm not going to remove it. I'm going to give it a chance, but... I don't think I'm going to be using it anymore. But this is my setup in my son's room, like I said. And so far, so good. I'll continue to do updates on it. And just, uh, just quickly, if anybody hasn't seen the uh, full setup, I'll just show you in the cabinet real quick as well. Let my phone camera adjust. I don't have the lights on in here. Maybe that would help. So we have the OAC OIC 250 in this one. We have the Green Leaf Aquariums CO2 inline diffuser. And then the Greenleaf Aquarium's uh, regulator and tank on a timer. And like I said so far, I'm really pleased with, uh, with both, with the uh, CO2 uh, choice that I've made. And then with the filters, I, this to me uh, is the best filter I've used. Um, so once a week, I just take out that pre-filter and switch out the sponges. I bought an extra set for each of the filters. So uh, I just switch the sponges out and then I wash the ones that I've taken out and dry them out and then the next week switch them out again. Saves a lot of time, I think, as far as maintenance and everything goes. But that's his... 36 gallon top fin bow front. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for watching.